we're going to adjust the valves on this Honda engine. This is the 160. When it starts becoming hard to start, that's when I adjust the valves. To remove the valve cover, there's four 10 millimeter bolts. A ratchet works good for this. Pull on the valve cover. You may need to use a screwdriver. The timing needs to be a top dead center to adjust the valves. To keep it safe, disconnect the spark plug. Pull the rope slow until it's top dead center. I'll show you what top dead center looks like. When the lobe's pointing completely forward, I'll show you another way to know you've got it. You'll notice that both valves shake back and forth. The valve closest to the muffler is the exhaust valve and the carburetor is the intake valve. The intake valve will be adjusted at 0 .006 and the exhaust at 0 .008. I'll check the valve clearance first and this actually feels pretty good on the intake. The exhaust is very loose. Loosen the valve adjustment nut with a nine millimeter wrench. Insert the feeler gauge. Spin the adjuster until it hits the feeler gauge. Without moving the adjuster, spin the nut until it locks. Place the nine millimeter bolt onto the nut carefully not to move anything. Take the pair of pliers, hold the adjuster so nothing moves, then tighten the nut. Remove the wrench. Your feeler gauge should just be grabbing. It shouldn't be loose, it shouldn't be too tight. That feels good. Remove the feeler gauge. Because the intake is correct, I'm not gonna adjust it, but you would do it the exact same way. The last three times that I've put this back on, it has not leaked. If it does, you're gonna to wanna to recreate the gasket. I typically adjust these valves about every two years. If I put this together and oil leaks, what I typically do is I make a gasket out of gasket material. When I start this mower, I'm gonna make sure that no oil is leaked. When I snug the bolts up, I go very even and consistent in an X formation. I find once this is hard to start, I go ahead and adjust these valves. I'll clean up this oil really good because if it leaks, I want to know it right away. Check the oil in the crankcase and it looks good. Hook up the spark plug. Give it a pull. It starts a lot better. That's how you adjust the valve lash on a Honda lawnmower.